Open up for questions. Leave it up to you guys. Three games, three coaches. I think you had the biggest margin, so yeah, that, that, you got bragging rights. That, that, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, you know what? Is the nice thing is I think we're getting a little bit better every game, um, and our our plan, or Cal's plan of everybody playing equal minutes, uh, has stayed true to form. So now everybody's played 60 minutes, and it's only off by about 20 seconds here or there. So that's been really good. So. They've only played a game and a half in three days, so it, it, now we have a couple days off before we do the same thing all over again. How good so, were you guys, John? Pardon me? How good were you guys in transition, and how important is that? Well, I, I, think, that, I think that that's going to be really important for this team. Um, Why is that? Because we have athletes that can run with size, and we can throw the ball to the rim and, and play that way. But we have to get—we have to be a really good defensive team in order for that to happen. Um, but that's so far down the road. That's not an August 12th thing. That's a—you know—that's a November, December type thing. But the nice thing for us is they made the adjustments in the areas in which we were looking to do the do them from the film that we watched this morning, and it wasn't a whole lot. Um, but it's nice to see that they're paying attention. And they'll, they'll just keep getting better and better that way. John, are they performing better than you guys thought before you went? Well, we knew we had a talented bunch, and we knew that we had a lot of returning players from last year. Um, I think the freshmen have fit in very, very well. Um, start, especially for the first couple games, even though the exhibition's in a Kentucky uniform. Um, I think our size shows. I mean, that's a really big team, and it's without Willie and Trey. Um, so I think we have a different weapons. I mean, and the returning guys are, have gotten better, and uh, that's, gonna, that's, that's big. John, you talked about adjustments. Uh, are they so subtle that we, you can't Yeah, just, us? I mean, it was just, I mean, just a couple. Things that they did better. Yeah, just whether it was in the zone that we were too far extended in our zone and stretched out yesterday. That, that France was getting the ball to the to the nail and then and playing that way, um, so we did a little bit better job there. Um, our tags on pick and rolls were were a, bit, a little bit better, um, but our athleticism showed. And I think we we what we've done for these first three games is worn people down, with you know by both units. Talk about older guys have gotten better. Marcus Lee, what how has his game grown? It's just confidence, and he's been working at it, and he's stronger. Uh, he's probably put on 10 to 15, 12, 10 to 12 pounds. Um, I think it was just a direct carryover from the NCAA tournament. Um, I think, I think probably one of the most improved guys is Alex. I mean, his confidence has to be through the roof. I mean, he, he, he just does things athletically that you cannot teach and you don't see very often, and. He's trying to do them more, really, without us saying nothing about him. He's going, he's playing above the rim by himself a lot of times, and we've been telling him that for three years. And it's it's great that it's great to see him smile. Um, it's a great group of kids that really like each other, and we're cheering each other on. And that's part of this trip. There's only it's only three exhibition games, but it is three competitive settings in a row yeah. where Alex has had that motor engaged. It's, that's always been the, You said the key word, it's his motor and it's like a rebuilt engine. And he's just I mean he, he's he's flying right now and it's it's really good to see. No, yes, there are only two points, John, but did they have a psychological boost, do you think? For, for me? For the no not for you necessarily. <laughs> But for the team, for players. Uh, I mean, you see the reaction. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's an exciting play. Uh, it's a game-changing play uh, when you get a run of them consecutively uh, by different players. Yeah, and it's it, the neatest thing for us as coaches is to see the the players' reaction on the bench when big plays are like that are made. It doesn't matter if it's one five or another five or somebody else. So it's good. Callis said something to this effect, but is, is Carl more than you expected? Yes. Uh -huh. How much and in what way? Um, I really didn't know how gifted of a scorer he is. Um, he has to get stronger, but his skill level is really, really high for a, a young, young man. Um, and he really hasn't shot the ball well, and that's one thing that he can do. Um, 
but he can score in a variety of ways, and he's just, you know, it's going to be a big piece for us. Another no look pass around the day, the chain reaction there, no look. I think Hawkins yeah, well, with the lob, uh, little globe trotters. Well, when, once we play, I think we open up with Grand Canyon on the 14th. I don't think you'll be seeing a whole lot of no no looks. <laughs> so on basketball side, you guys are here 10 days. How important is the, the team building? The guys are throwing. The guys like being together. Um, Today will be the first chance to, for us to even take a breath since we've, since we've been here. We've just been in such a routine where game, coaches meet, watch film, break it down, go to dinner, meet with the team at night and show them some of this game. And then this morning we you know, did the scout for um, the Puerto Rico team. But you see them in the water park, you see them walking around. They eat dinner together when they don't have to. Um, it's a good group of kids, and uh, I mean, any team that takes a foreign trip, it's a bonding trip, and uh, I, I don't think we needed a whole lot of help with that because they've been together for ten weeks now. What uh, what, what will you guys do over the next few days? Uh, well, tomorrow we uh, are doing Samaritan's feet here uh, in Nassau. I believe it's Nassau uh, tomorrow morning, and then the guys are going to be free. They're, they're on their own uh, to do that. And then uh, Thursday, we're going out on a boat with the guys on a catamaran. So, and then we get right back to it, you know, when Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Most likely to yak on the boat? You? No, no, I'm trying to think. I don't know who has the weakest stomach, but somebody will. Somebody will. John, there was a play where Tyler got flattened by the pick. Big man's fault. Yeah. Big man's fault, didn't call it. Mm -hmm. He didn't, uh, and he got leveled, but he got up and made a lob for a. Yeah, a he's a tough kid. Tough kid, but in a situation like, oh, he's a tough kid, and I mean, he's not going to back down. That's a big guy's fault, and we talked about it at halftime. And, uh, you know, just that just can't happen. Good. Thanks, John. Thanks. Thanks.